So we're told that Min Lee has five more dollars than James. Min Lee has $33. How much does James have? So let's, def let's use some letters to represent the amount of money Min Lee has and the amount of money James has. So let's say that M is the, is, represents the amount of money that Min Lee has. And J represents the amount that James has. So we're told that Min Lee has five more dollars than James. So Min Lee's money, or the amount of money Min Lee has, is going to be equal to the amount of money James has plus five. So plus, plus five. Start with the amount James has, add five, you have Min Lee's. Min Lee has five more dollars than James. Now they tell us Min Lee has $33. So let me write this down. So we know that M, M is equal to, so this, this sentence right here tells us, this right here tells us that M is equal to $33. So instead of an M here, we could say, well, $33 is equal to, is equal to the amount of money James has plus, plus five. And so now we just need to think about how much money does James have. And I encourage you to pause the video and think about it on your own. Well, one way to visualize this is maybe on a number line. So let me draw a number line right over here. And let's say this is zero. This is the amount that Min Lee has right up here. So Min Lee has $33. That represents that point right over here. And J is the amount that James has. So let's say that this is J right over here. And we know that if we add five to J, if you take J, add five, you get to 33. So you start at J, if you add five, you get you get to 33. Well, how can I go to 33 to how can I start with M or how can I start with the amount Min Lee has and then end up with the amount James has? Well, I could just go the other way around. I could start with M and I could subtract 5. I could subtract 5. So we could say that 33, which is M, the amount of money Min Lee has, minus 5 minus 5 is equal to the amount of money that James has. So how much money does James have? Well, 33 minus 5 is going to be 28. So we can say that James, James has 28 is equal to J, or James has $28. So this right over here is 28. And you see that 28 plus 5 is 33. 33 is 5 more than 28. So this all works out. Now let's think about this next question. Jessica's house is five times as far from school as Paulette's house. Jessica's house is 15 miles from school. How far is Paulette's house from the school? So just like we did, let's just look at each of these sentences and see what they're telling us. And I encourage you to define, use some letters to represent the distance Jessica's house from school and Paulette's house from school, and try to figure this out on your own. Pause the video right now and try to figure it out on your own. So you could imagine J might be a good letter for Jessica's, the distance from Jessica's house to school. And let's say that P will use for Paulette's house from school. So we're told that however far Paulette's house is from school, you take five times that to see how far Jessica's house is from school. So we could write that P, which is how far Paulette's house is from school, times five, times five, times five, is equal to how far Jessica's house is from school. Jessica's house is five times as far from school as Paulette's house. P is Paulette's house's distance from school. J is Jessica's house's distance from school. They then tell us that Jessica's house is 15 miles from school. So that they're essentially telling us, this sentence right over here, they're telling us that J is equal to 15. J is equal to 15. So we can rewrite this as, the distance Paulette's house is from school times five, which we know to be Jessica's distance from school, or Jessica's house's distance from school, which we now know to be 15, is going to be equal to 15. So what would P be? Some number times five is going to be equal to 15. Some number of miles times five is equal to 15 miles. Well, you might already be able to think about this in your head, but we could also visualize it. So let's draw a number line again. Let's draw a number line again. And if you start with that number, P, so let's, this is Paulette's distance from school, so P, and you multiply it by five. So, 
So that's times 1, times 2, times 3, times 4, times 5. So notice, this is p. This distance is p right over here. This is another p right over here. This is another p right over here. That's another p right over there, and another p right over there. Or another way of thinking about it, this whole distance right over here is going to be p plus p plus p plus p plus p, or p times 5. p times 5. And that's equal to how far Jessica is from school, or Jessica's house is from school. So this right over here is equal to 15, which is the same thing, which is the same thing as j. So how would you figure it out? Well, if 5 times p is equal to 15, if I want to figure out what p is, I could just divide 15 into five equal groups. So we could say that p, p is equal to 15, is equal to 15 divided into five equal groups. If you take 15 miles and divide it into five equal groups, that's going to, you're going to end up with p. So what is this? Well, we get p, 15 divided by 3 is, or sorry, 15 divided by 5 is 3. So Paulette, li Paulette lives 3 miles from school. And you see that. If this is a 3, another 3, another 3, plus another 3, and another 3, 3 times 5 is 15. Jessica's house, which is 15 miles from school, is 5 times as far from school as Paulette's house, which is 3 miles from school. So it all makes sense.